Well, hey guys, welcome to Bartlow's Barbecue. And today, that's right, we're not cooking, but man, I'm giving you my top five favorite things about the Kamado Joe. And I'm so excited. Let's go. All right, guys, well, the first thing that I love about the Kamado Joe Jr. Uh, is the obvious, in my opinion, and that is the size and the portability. Um, as you look at this Kamado Joe Jr., it looks like it's around 26, almost 27 inches tall. You open this thing up and the grill grate itself looks like it's around 13, 13 and a half inches um, wide there. Um, so the size of this grill is, is fantastic. Um, I started on the Classic 2, which has a cover on it now, and I've had this for over four years, I think, and I uh, produce amazing cooks. So I'm a big fan of Kamado Joe, um, and so I, then I've been eyeing the, the Junior, and some would say, hey, why didn't you start with the Junior versus going with the big one? And for me, I just like go big or go home. That's just my personality. So I wanted to start with the big one, and over time, I decided, you know what, it's time to go to the Junior because it's portable. They designed this to be portable and the size of it is fantastic. It can still produce an incredible amount of food on this grill grate. Uh, you can cook a whole chicken because of the size still fits a whole chicken on it. Uh, you can, uh, let's see here, I've done New York strips, like two or three, actually I've done like four New York strips on this thing uh, not too long ago. Uh, I smoked a tri-tip on this. You could do a flat brisket, not a whole brisket. Um, uh, you still can produce uh, some beef ribs, uh, do some amazing uh, cooks, um, no matter uh, if you're cooking for your, your family or just yourself or just a few friends. And so if you're wondering uh, on the size and portability of what kind of cooks you can do, those are a few examples. And uh, I'll show you a few of those um, you know, on the video that I've done over time. So that's the first thing I love about it is the portability. And the side, you could take this, they designed this, it's on a cast iron stand to be portable. It's got two um, little, uh, you know, hand holders here. So two people can carry it, one person could carry it. I carried this from my, uh, my garage into my backyard by myself. But if you're taking it to the lake, the beach, um, you could easily, it's easily accessible to take with you wherever you're going, traveling to, uh, and go camping or whatnot or put it in your front driveway and cook out for your neighbors. This is my favorite thing uh, about the Kamado Joe is the portability and the size. So that's a few examples that I've experienced so far and what I love. So let's go to number two. All right guys, the second thing that I love about the Kamado Joe Jr. is the low and slow cooking ability. Uh, when you take this thing um, out here, you're going to notice, um, we'll talk about this grill grate here in a moment, uh, it comes with uh, this great heat deflector uh, and also um, a little heat deflector stand like that. And it's really easy, uh, you can tell I've already been, I've grilled on this thing and I've smoked on this thing uh, and you can literally just put it right back in here, it has a little, a little bottom spot and then it's got little three little um, uh, divots inside. Uh, the Kamado Joe Jr. for you to put the heat deflector on uh, and then you just put your grill grate um, right back on here to put your meat on uh, and you're ready to go uh, for low and slow cooking and a few things that it's important to know about low and slow cooking if you're new to cooking and you're gonna thinking about starting with the Junior first is it's got a daisy wheel uh, and then it's got a little uh, ash uh, ash pan area here where you scoop out uh, ash and it comes with a few tools a real great grabber and then an ash tool and you just literally grab ash pull it out and then you're able to uh, keep the airflow going from here and the daisy wheel uh, what I like to do is I use my classic two uh, to um, you know just put under here and use this accessory to scoop it out if you don't have that accessory just get some type of bowl or something that uh, you don't care for or uh, whatever it might be and just use the accessory to clear out the ash but this helps you not only clear out the ash the airflow between the two helps uh, get uh, your low and slow cooking dialed in and so to fire up uh, the Joe, you're going to be using lump charcoal and typically I like to you know open up the daisy wheel completely and also 
uh, open up this completely just to get it lit first and then usually 10 minutes in it's it's going uh, a lot of pit masters will just uh, leave this open initially a few minutes just open up the daisy wheel get it to uh, about usually two fingers worth and then you're usually uh, at least it's been my experience on both of these the Kamado Joe in here to um, get that uh, dialed into a 220 to 250. Uh, I like to be around that 225 low and slow cooking on the Joes and you're able to produce incredible amount of food and if you've wondered like what you could cook and you can smoke, I've smoked tri-tip, you could do uh, beef ribs on here that turn out just succulent and just amazing. Uh, you can do a uh, half uh, or a flat brisket here. Uh, there's a lot of opportunities, you know, chicken, uh, smoking chicken on here, I've done uh, that. You can do a whole chicken on here. Uh, probably the list is endless of what you could experiment uh, doing, and I've had great success uh, doing uh, low and slow cooking with the junior. So if you're considering starting here, uh, that just shows you the capability, and that's one of the things I love about it is the low and slow cooking. All right, the third thing that is my favorite thing is the ability for the junior to do high uh, heat grilling and this is not different than any other grill but uh, man I've been able to do some incredible uh, cooks on here with steaks some New York strip steaks and I just love a good strip and matter of fact I uh, reverse seared it uh, three steaks on this puppy uh, using uh, the Kamada Classic 2 where I low and slowed it there and then I seared it here and I opened up the dome uh, lid here and the bottom fully open for literally five minutes and this thing went roaring up to 900 degrees no choke and I was blown away I was like oh my gosh this thing heats up so fast and that's probably uh, one of the reasons why I like the high heat grilling ability because the Joe Jr. heats up fast and I was able to produce an incredible uh, sear marks and just searing on that New York strip and it was tasty I loved it so you're able to cook hot dogs uh, and hamburgers uh, and, and steaks on your reverse here. You can even do low and slow here uh, and then take off the, um, you know, the, the heat deflector and then pop open everything open, get this thing roaring, and then you're ready to do high heat searing as well. It's amazing. That's my third thing that I love about the Joe Jr. Let's go to the fourth thing that I love. Well, the fourth thing that I love about the Joe Jr. is a great accessory called the Grill Grate Hinge. Something that you might not know about this is that the hinge opens up, you're able to put lump charcoal right in there, and if it comes with a cool ass uh, little tool here that you're able to activate all the different uh, charcoals just in case you um, need to add more to uh, the Joe Jr. And or sometimes you just simply forget to add um, a wood chunk to get that smoke that you want and that's just a fast uh, tip and also my favorite thing about the Joe Jr. And the fifth thing that is one of my favorite things about the Joe Jr. and just kind of a simple thing is the dome hinge and handle here, the hinge and the handle. It's plastic up front, which it's not wood, so it doesn't get too hot in my opinion, my experience. Uh, it has a nice logo on it, it's really cool. Also, uh, the dome hinge, it's not slow closing, although there are some parts that do slow close, like if I hold it right there, it stays in position, which is cool. Uh, and let's see if I can, which position to get to hold. So at that point, it closes, uh, but it's metal, it's really secure, it's really nice, it's simple, it's clean. Uh, again, something simple about the Joe Jr. that I like. All right, guys, those are the top five things that are my favorite items about the Kamado Joe Jr. I hope you really enjoyed that and it helped you better understand the Joe Jr. Uh, if you like this video, like it, subscribe, uh, and turn on the notification buttons. Um, you know, one other thing the, to add to this is the cost. It's only $3.99. Uh, and if you're thinking about getting into Kamado Joe Smoky, that's a really good price. Full disclosure, you can definitely get a full-size Joe or a full-size um, smoker for that, but you get what you pay for. But if you want to get into the entry level, 
Uh, the classic one, I think you can get it for $6.99 in some places. Two is like $800 plus, And then it just continues to go up with the uh, Kamado Joe 3 and uh, with the slow roller now. And the Big Joes get up to like $1,600. So this is a great starter uh, uh, you know, ceramic egg for Kamado Joe if you're really into uh, the KJs. Uh, and I really love uh, the capability of what this can do. So again, I'm going to be doing a series on the Kamado Joe Jr. of what you can cook on it and also I'm going to be doing a build video on building a, uh, a stand for it as well that's going to sit right here. So I can't wait. So from my backyard to yours, enjoy barbecue.